everybody, this is Quadzilla. I have a pack review for you today, and this is the Weekender pack from North Street Bags. They are a small pack company out of Portland, Oregon, doing some really interesting, innovative things. And I've been using this pack as I travel through Thailand. So you see I've got my trusty old Hyperlite over here, and then this uh, Weekender pack. And so I'll talk you through kind of the pros and cons of using a more traditional hiking backpack versus a you know more urban pack like this for the style of traveling where I'm you know backpacking through Asia but that that idea of backpacking that term means something very different when you're going through through Asia versus when you're in the woods so first just the pack in general it's made out of 100% recycled sailcloth material. So being recycled, that's really cool, uh, but also it's waterproof, which is huge. Like um, after all of these years, all of these miles, I am a huge proponent of getting as much waterproofing, water resistance as you can on your packs. That's why I like the Hyperlite for the trails, just because it is such a pain to have to put on a pack cover or to cover all your stuff inside in plastic because it's gonna rain. and you know, out on the trail, out here in Thailand. Um, I've been here in rainy season and it is pouring every single day. So you never know when you're gonna get caught in a, in a rainstorm and I don't want to have to like run inside or worry about just my documents, my electronics, all that stuff. So uh, still I wouldn't take it into a pouring rain, but it's nice to have some waterproofing, water resistance in your pack. And you know, no pack is waterproof because packs have uh, you know, they have openings. So zippers, seams, places where it gets sewed, those are not waterproof. So, you know, the pack, it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, which is, you know, if you're gonna choose between a pack that's water resistant or not, take the, take the water resistant pack. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the materials of the pack. Um, just kind of on a, on a broad basis, I really like the style of the pack. It's, um, you know, it's stylish, it has, a little bit of this like molly webbing that you can attach things to, um, but it's not it's not like a tactical pack. It's not one of these crazy tactical packs that screams, you know, look at me, I'm carrying a firearm inside or I'm, I'm ex-military or anything like that. Like I was in the infantry and some of those guys, their entire personality is just, look at me, I used to be in the military and I don't, I don't like that. I prefer something you know, a little more low-key. So then let's talk about the really important thing, how well does it carry your gear? And so this is a 28 liter pack and I'm actually really surprised at how much um, space is in here. So I'm gonna show you what I pack in this. So I'm traveling right now, I have my camera set up, I have my laptop, so um, if I didn't have that, I could probably get away with just using this pack as my main pack for the trip. But because I have that kind of stuff, I have some boxing gear as well. So that it's all a lot of volume and space. So this pack I primarily use for my um, laptop and my camera gear. So this is my carry-on uh, on the plane because I don't want to check, you know, laptop camera stuff. I want that with me at all times. So um, I'm obviously shooting with my camera. So I use my camera bag to demonstrate where uh, I would have my camera in here. So that's the camera. There's a pouch or a zipper back here where I can put my laptop. And this is a huge, gigantic laptop. I think this is this is a Legion um, 7, X7, X5, something like that. But anyway, it's, it's about the biggest laptop <laughs> that I've ever had. And it's heavy, super heavy, it's like seven pounds. But it fits uh, very well within the pack. Along with that, I've got my water in here. And there's still space for about you know, two changes of clothes, just some random clothes, underwear, socks, got my elephant pants because everybody needs elephant pants when they're in Thailand. And then um, on top of the zipper up here, you can, I put my easily accessible um, things that I might need, so like sunglasses, I've got my power bank battery charger, and then this front pocket. Um, I like to keep my documents that I you know, want to hold on to. I've got my passport, I've got my little journal. Uh, there's one more pocket down here that I don't really use, but it's nice to have you know, extra space. And uh, the big difference 
between this pack I found and the Hyperlite is just organization, right? Hy this Hyperlite pack is great, but it has just one main compartment and then, you know, the outside compartments, which I don't like to use these when I'm, you know, in urban settings in Asia. I don't want all of my stuff hanging around outside. Um, you know, it's much easier to get lost and I just, it looks kind of dumb. So having these extra pockets for organization is um, super helpful on this North Street bag. And then being able to open it just all the way like that is super, super helpful. Again, I found with my Hyperlite pack, I have to take everything out of the pack. <laughs> if I'm, you know, whatever I'm trying to get at, it's hard to see inside. I don't, um, I can't see exactly what I'm trying to get to. And I have to take just everything, unpack the whole pack to get to the things I'm trying to get to. Whereas with this pack, I can unzip it all the way. And I can keep things, you know, still packed in here uh, while accessing what I need. And they have a pretty cool modular little system uh, with Velcro and they sell a bunch of little accessory pouches and organizational packs so that you can, you know, um, Velcro in little extra pouches to keep you organized. I got a little fanny pack attachment. So I love my fanny packs. And this can clip um, into the hip belt, or you can also take it off and wear it as a standalone little fanny pack, hip belt, chest belt, whatever. But you can see I've got it clipped into my hip belt right now. I like to do this when I'm traveling. So again, it gives me just extra volume um, that I can use as a carry-on. And I keep in here a lot of my camera equipment. So I've got an extra lens, my 50 milliliter one, uh, 50 millimeter one eight. I've got my microphone for recording things. Got my four terabyte little hard drive. This is a very well designed and well thought out pack. It's big enough to fit all of your essentials, but small enough that it's not a burden to carry around as like an everyday carry pack as you're traveling through wherever you're going. It's made with quality materials and the build quality is superb. And I've seen enough packs now to kind of know what to look for. I haven't used this pack for thousands of miles, but I'm confident that it would hold up for years of like overseas type travel going through airports, that kind of hard use because the stitching, the build quality, it is really um, good. You can tell they paid attention to detail. It's not made, you know, in a factory in China. They're, they're building it in Portland. So um, all of those are, are really good signs and I think this will be a pretty quality pack that really you can like buy once, cry once, and then use it for a really long time.